Uh, my name is Floyd Thursby and I'm a musician. Um, I live in Melbourne, Australia and I've been playing music professionally for about 25 years. Um, I write my songs uh, myself and I also sing covers. I, I spend some time singing songs for old people in nursing homes as well and that's a lot of fun. Um, hi, I'm Mademoiselle. Uh, I'm from Hanoi, Vietnam and uh, I sing my songs and other songs in this case. <laughs> You gotta run, you gotta fly When loving her is easy and she's shining like a star Singing to the sun, to the rain, and to the sky No matter how or why, you gotta walk. Well, we were introduced through a venue called the Hanoi Social Club in Hanoi and uh, the owner of that venue uh, is a guy who lives in Melbourne and uh, I met him actually in Hanoi after playing a lot of shows there and one day we were just talking on Facebook and uh, he said, oh have you heard of this artist, uh, Mademoiselle, she, uh, every time she performs at the Hanoi Social Club there's like full house and everybody's lining up around the streets and um, I listened to her song and um, I said, oh I sh I'd love to get in touch with Mademoiselle and see if she's interested in collaborating in, in some way. Yeah, and then when I listened to his voice, and I was like, oh, we would sound really nice together. So he was like, voila. Yeah, voila, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Tucked my sleeve away, laid down my arms. It's hard to find the old romance, I guess. That's when the end begins. I think one of the interesting things about this project is the fact that we're writing music for two different audiences, two very different audiences, and so you have to think about the fact that we'll be making music not only for people in Australia speaking English, but people in Vietnam speaking Vietnamese, and um, that's a really exciting um, part of the project, but it is a challenge because um, you have to always be thinking, okay, so how would this work in English, how would this work in Vietnamese? Um, the way you write music and the way you write melodies and lyrics is uh, different for different languages. Um, as I learned through this process, for example, I had um, one melody which had to be changed when we translated it into Vietnamese, yeah. which is fascinating for me because the, the inflection, the, the melody of the Vietnamese speech had to reflect the melody of the song. Tiki, tiki, and we'll dance our dreams until daybreak. Also, it's the same for me when I have to write uh, Vietnamese lyrics for each song. Um, and I think the same when you have to write English lyrics for my Vietnamese song. Um, that's a, that's the hard, like most difficult part for me because I. Like, I know, like Vietnamese is always very hard for me to to write uh, and to fit in the to melody. That's the most challenging part. Oh, it's a disaster. It's a complete. Disaster. She's such a pain in the ass to work with. Oh my god! The wild parties, the drugs. The sex, <laughs> the, it's just, a, it's, I, can't, I can't keep up with this lifestyle. Many taboo topic in my songs. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's been fabulous working with Mademoiselle. Um, it's been a really great collaboration. Um, it's very easy. Um, yeah, I've really enjoyed it. Yeah. I think we're both easy on the ear. <laughs> and say so we always like agree with each other most of most of the most of the part. I think so. Yeah, it's been like artistically and creatively, it's been very uh, very easy process. Uh, favorite track of my own, of the, of one of the songs that I've written at the moment. Um, it's a song called Mary Comes to Camberley. But if you'd asked me yesterday, I would have said something different. But because today I heard Mademoiselle put vocals to it, and it just sounded so great, <laughs> that I just thought that's perfect, that's brilliant. Um, it's, a, it's a song that I wrote about um, the experience of seeing people come to nursing homes to look after their family members, and you see people come every single day, and um, 
they sit quietly with someone who maybe doesn't even know that they're there because they have dementia or they're very seriously disabled. But it's such a touching thing to see someone come uh, and spend time with someone they love, um, even if they apparently don't get much response from that person. But it's a very um, touching thing to see that relationship in practice. Mary came to him today. She brought him bread and wine. And she watched him while he slept Till the sun shook off the sky um, For me in this project I, I'm in love with two songs and both of them are Paul's um, uh, The first one is also Mary Come to Cambly because I really like the story behind it um, and the second one is uh, Let It Shine <clears throat> I wrote it um, after the um, Mm, the incident of a lot of Vietnamese people died in the container um, in, in England. Um, so, um, so that's like a group of people in a, in a dark place and wanting a candle to be lighter. And then uh, they remember about, um, like they have a lot of memories about that moment. You know, I'd like us to play more shows together. Um, I think it would be great if we could play more shows in Vietnam, more shows in Australia, but also look at um, the opportunity to tour through Southeast Asia. Um, you know, Malaysia, Indonesia, Thailand, um, Cambodia. Um, I think that would be um, a great um, thing to do just for us, but also it's, it's a way of showing the connection between Australia and Vietnam that this project is really all about. Mm. And uh, besides the shows, as you said, I also hope that um, um, the, um, the, audi the audience uh, will welcome this and then we can have another opportunity to do the second um, together. Yeah, absolutely. That's background noise. That's all part of the light and colour. You can't. That's dinner. You, know, you can't stop that happening, mate. What's going to happen with your light? I'm just afraid that the sound will be affected. Okay. That's fine. I'm good now. I'm just going to marinate the steak. I'll take it out of the real. Yeah, into the back. Yeah.